All right, so now we're on to the, to the fleshing portion. So I got it, I just washed it. It's nice and dry, I had it hanging overnight and it's nice and cooled down. I like the fat, you know, fairly cold. It, um, it just, it flushes a little easier. So just get on here and take the dull side of your knife and just pull it down so it's nice and tight. You don't want any loose skin in here. So get it pulled nice and tight. I've got the camera in about as close as I can get it here. So hopefully you can see everything. So I just sharpened my knife, so hopefully I don't put a put a hole in here. But we're just gonna start right up below, right just below the ears, and just give it a slight slicing slicing motion. You know, we'll put your knife a little bit at an angle, and you slice at an angle. You're not slicing straight down. You're not pushing with your never push with your sharp side. You're slicing with your sharp side. So slice down and go at an angle. Just. You just, you gotta find your right angle here, depending on your beam and your knife, uh, you'll find your right angle. But you just, you work down just a little ways. It doesn't take much and make sure you don't uh, leave any little chunks of fat around. Now, when you're working, don't get off on the edges of your board. When you get to the edges, that's where you're gonna start cutting holes when you're using this knife. So just, just be careful when you're working these edges. So. Now we got down to about where the arms are on the belly here. So we're at the shoulders here. That's when you can you can really switch to your uh, dull side and you just, nice easy strokes, you just, uh, you just push down and take it easy here. And it scrapes, it should scrape real nice with, with uh, if you got a good knife, you got the fat nice and cold. When, you, um, when you're flushing these and they're a little warm, they're not, not cold, it's no big deal, but, you're, it's gonna be a little more more runny I'm gonna call it the fats gonna be a little wetter and runnier so uh, if you can just get them cooled down in the fridge or something overnight now don't be leaning way out over your beam here don't be down here trying to work keep your back straight otherwise you're gonna get uh, shoulder fatigue really easy so this one's a small coon so we got pretty close to the base of the tail but I'm not gonna go any further than that it's kind of out of my work range so we're gonna take it and obviously I just started on the back. We're gonna roll it. So we got one arm on here, about center. So I put the arm, you can pull the arm out. You can see the arm is about center here. So again, we're back up by the head. We're gonna use our sharp side just a little bit. And once you get, I'm using my sharp side here. And once I get past the arm onto the belly side, you can usually switch to your dull side and you don't need to use your sharp side much when you get on this this side of the coon, but just use your dull side now and just push push the fat, roll it right down. Now I like to always cut it off, cut off all that extra fat so it's not hanging here when I'm working. Now we're going you gotta work around these arms. This is this is one spot you're gonna struggle when you first start. It's it's hard to get around these arms. So just do the best you can for right now, and then we'll come back to those later. So we've got it worked down about as far as you can reach. Now when you're working these, this is a small female, so the nipples are not real big, but there are three nipple holes, or, or three nipples on each side when you're working here. And if you're not careful, if you're pushing real hard, you can hit those and pop it open and you, you might rip a hole. So just be careful uh, when you're doing the female, when you're doing the penis, or a, a male and they've got the spot where the penis was, just be careful, you kind of work around it and there's no big need for, uh, for getting real clean around it because you'll cut it out, but just make sure you're, you don't rip that open. So now we wrote, we've rotated it one more time. We're gonna start back up here, make sure it's pulled tight. And just start, I'm starting with my sharp side again because I'm still working on the top half of the, of the coon here. So I've just come down a little ways. If you don't wanna start, don't use the sharp side around the arm. You're gonna, you're gonna cut holes in there if you do that. So. Just uh, just come up here, clean off any of this chick cheap meat. Uh, when we put it on the board, and if it needs to be cleaned up a little bit, we can always do that when it's on the board around the face. So we're using the dull side here, and just just take it easy pushing. My, I don't have my when I'm using dull side, I don't have the knife laying flat on here. It's not quite 90 degree, but uh, it's it's almost I would say almost straight up, but. Cut this big chunk of fat off and now I'm gonna work around this arm just a little bit and when you you know you've got it clean when it's kind of a 
a bumpiest, the, the pelt itself, the, the hide here, it, it's kind of not really bumpy. It's almost like porous. You can see little pores in here. That's how you know you're gonna you're down to the clean portion. Um, if you got smooth white, it's still fat. So when you get just this porous kind of texture, that's when you know you're through the fat down to the skin. That's where you wanna be when you're flushing. So now, when you're doing the arms, pull the arm right up onto the horn of your, of your bean. So if you got a little bit on top of the arm, just work that off and then pull your arm. So sticking, sticking straight up in there like that. And now you can work using your dull side. You can work underneath and get almost all of that fat out of there. Now this is a little coon, did not have a ton of fat. And uh, you know, if you're catching these raccoon further south, the further south you go where it's not getting real cold, if they're not storing much fat, you might not have a problem here. But this is one area that even, even when you do this, you, you know, we're gonna flesh it out here real nice. It's still gonna be one of the last areas to dry just around the arms in general. So we've got that nice and clean. We'll put it back in here and we'll get underneath and we'll flesh, flesh uh, underneath the arm. So we've got that nice and clean. Now I'm gonna roll it back onto the tail, put the tail on top again. All right, so now that we've got our tail back up here, I'm just gonna grab grab a clamp here. This is just a carpentry clamp, you know, spring loaded so it works real nice. I just clamp it on here so that when you're fleshing, it doesn't, doesn't pull back over. So now we're still using the doll side. We're gonna come back down here and just scrape all of this clean and just work it right off the edge. Now, once we get to the tail, I like to take it and just cut it off all this extra fat free. Cause if you keep, if you, once you get to the tail, if you keep fleshing with all that fat on here, that fat's just gonna get built up in the, in the tail. And uh, you don't really want all that greasy fat getting in the fur. So it, when you're working down here, you gotta be careful, especially on bigger raccoon, it might get tough down here and you might have to use your your sharp set of the knife just a little bit. Um, try not to because you might end up cutting something, but if you have to, obviously get the fat off. That's the main thing. And just come down through the tail. Um, tails can be kind of a pain because they roll up and it's they're kind of awkward, I would say, when you're when you're flushing it. But just I just always ride, I kind of ride one side and ride the other side and just push it all the way down to the end. So now, oopsies, we've got the, we've got that all nice and cleaned off. As you can see, the end of the tail just popped off, which there's not, I didn't lose any value there. They're not even gonna really notice that. But uh, the reason that happened is because this is a real, this is a young, a young raccoon and I just pushed a little too hard and popped it off. But uh, don't worry if you can even, if you're missing almost the entire tail, you're not really, you know, out of it. If you if you mess it up when you're when you're uh, uh, skinning it and you accidentally cut the tail off right here, don't worry about it. It's gonna be okay. Uh, it happens. It even happens when you've done it a lot of time and you you might be uh, stripping the tail off and it might just pop right off and not even strip out. So it happens. Uh, nothing to worry about there. So now we're just gonna rotate it. I readjust my clamp here. And again, now we're getting back to the belly side. Right here, there's a nipple. It might it might look like there's just a chunk of fat hanging there. You gotta be careful working around it. I got one more down here. And see this one? If you can see that little hole, it just, it just popped the nipple off, which that's no big deal. It's the bottom one. And uh, <clears throat> that bottom one is not gonna hurt anything because it'll get cut out in the boarding process. So when you come down here, the legs, they can be a little a little tough. Sometimes the fat in the legs, it's kind of tough. So uh, just work them out the best you can. Obviously on a young one like this, you're not gonna have that problem, but on bigger ones, it will be a problem. So just make sure you get them clean. So one more time, we're gonna roll it. I'm gonna readjust my clamp and then we're gonna come down using the dull side, still using the dull side. Just come down and flesh all this fat right off. There you go. 
can see, I just pull it right off. I've got a trash can here. Uh, works real good just to put the fleshings in. You can use a box or a crate or something. It's just, it's nice to have an area where you can uh, throw them in and you'll e be able to easily clean up and carry them out of here. So when you're fleshing, make sure you're keeping your knife clean. You'll see me just keep wipe, wiping, you know, you'll see me wiping it off. If you're fleshing and it feels like it's just kind of rolling over, you probably got fat rolled up on your blade. So you want to just make sure you clean that off, you know, flick it in your trash can, and then you can go back to uh, fleshing. Now, we're just about done here. We'll get the, this leg nice and cleaned off. Make sure you get the edges rolled off. Sometimes when you get to the edges, the fat might just roll over the edge and not clean off. So make sure you got a nice, clean, clean edge when you're... Uh, when you're finished. Now, it looks like I've got a little spot right here. We'll just clean that off. Now, that's a flesh tool. When you're using, when you're working with bigger ones, you might have to roll it around three times. You see, I rolled it around twice when we were working. If you got bigger ones, you might have to do it three or four times, depending on how big of an area you are taking at a time and how big the coon is. So now, that's a nice, clean coon. Uh, there's no fat left on there. And uh, we'll put it on the board and get it stretched. 